In this uh, advanced Inkscape topic, uh, we're going to talk about the overhead image creator, which in my opinion is probably the one of the most underutilized functions. And it's been around a while. Um, why do we use the overhead image creator? Well, maybe you're in a situation where there's a very small and subtle terrain attribute that can't be seen in your satellite overlay when you're in Inkscape. So you can't really see where to spline it. A good example of that is like a very small creek um, that runs through like a meadow or a weeded area. So when you when you look at the train in Unity, you can obviously see that that creek is down in at the bottom of the train, but from overhead you can't see that. So when you spline, you want your spline in Inkscape to be down inside that valley, but you can't see that. So this is a use case where you can find that the bottom of that and, and mark it up and then spline it in Inkscape. Another thing, which is, uh, um, I'm, I'm going to try to show you all these in the, in the training video here, which is the trees obscure something that you need to spline. Um, but that thing can be seen on the terrain. Um, good examples of these are like tea boxes that are under trees or, or a bunker that's hidden by a tree or um, cart paths. Uh, and we, I definitely had that on the holes that I've been using as example. I just can't see them. But you might be able to see because there's a flat area where they're at on the terrain and, and decipher that. The last one, which is really interesting use case as well, is let's say you're making up a course and you have a train and you go in there and you just start flattening out your tee boxes and you, you're, you're sculpting your terrain for the course. Well, you have no satellite overlay. So what do you do? Well, you can draw on the train and then export that drawing uh, and spline it out in Inkscape. So there's another use case. Um, I call it really reverse splining because that's essentially what it is because we're doing everything backwards. We're going to draw, we're going to go into our terrain first. We're going to draw on that terrain. Then we're going to export that drawing as a PNG, import it into Inkscape. And that is essentially our new overlay image that we're going to be using to trace out our spline. So it's exactly opposite, right? Um, it's a it's a pretty cool technique. I, I like to use it. It's, it's fun. And um, yeah, so in the next videos, I'm going to show you a few ways to leverage that on your courses.